Yo, what's up guys? Today we are playing Surreal Chaos. I'm being joined by Blade. What's up, man? And he's gone. Okay. Uh, what should we play, though? Huh. Yeah, the meta is pretty much to go for the Black Drakes, I think. Who dares defile this ancient land? Scenarius. Who dares the wrath of Scenarius? Uh, should I go for the Manor of the End? For a meme? Wait, I got the new race, right? New dome? Uh, wait a second, give me. Okay, let me check. So we have Richard on playing Naito, Jed on playing your old. Yeah, you got a new race. Uh, the gnomes, exactly. Hero only, let's go. Nah, I already messed up, sorry. I went for uh, the magic foundation, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a magic foundation, magic source of magic, Andy. I don't know what else, what else to play. It's too strong of a meta to ignore it. I might play something different. I wanna try one meme strat. Broke a foundation instead of having fun rather than sleeper. Yeah, putting me on the spot. Scenarius is actual meta. Like, I'm not joking, because he can regenerate the barracks. And the whole buildings. So, so now if you make scenarios and he gets level 15, he gets like global aura to heal up all the trends and buildings are included. So, if, you, if your barracks are low HP, he can outreach on them. You just always have scenarios alive and it's really, really broken, in my opinion. And then, like, after I picked foundation, Medivh got picked. So, did you go for uh, tier 4 foundation blade? I have a marketplace on the top and a blacksmith on the bottom. I have a lumber mill and a gold mine. I'm pretty sure like a gold mine is a way to go, but the marketplace is like meh, not that great. Nice one, zoom, cringe. What I do with my guy then? With who? With uh, Mediv? You went for Mediv, right? Yeah, I just have a combat uh, Mediv against scenarios. That's gonna be epic. Epic combat. Dude, I really wanted to go for the fun strat, but you upgraded your barrack on me. And yeah. We we push uh we push Richard, Richard right? Um sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was the meme to kill night elves. Yeah, people say Night Elves are OP. I kind of disagree with that. I feel like Night Elves are kind of rich out early game. They kind of escalate late uh, pretty nicely because of the trends. Like, the trends are pretty OP, but I don't know. Until then, they're kind of meh. And scenarios here. So, what did you go for your uh, foundation? I went field in there. Someone said that was pretty good. Field engineer. Uh, is it? Is it like a tier? F is it your caster replacement? Like your caster gets uh, replaced by what you pick? It's my siege replacement. Oh, okay, okay. It's not a flying one, right? Doesn't look like. I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like the person you baited you about. Okay. Uh oh, R really? I mean, I don't know. Oh. Yeah. It might be good, we just like no me nor Wimp uh, did play it yet, so we don't know. It has like a an ability that produces one unit's armor by nine for ninety seconds. That seems pretty good. Uh is it self ability or uh what do you mean? Uh who do you get that armor on? On that unit? Does it oh, give it goes minus 9 armor to an oh. enemy unit. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Apparently usually usually then it has like 2 abilities. What is, uh, what is the second one? Let me see one. Just gets like buff stats. Oh, okay, okay. So is it like a melee unit? Does it say it's a melee? Tier 4 melee with uh, armor reduction on hit or a spell? Complete. 
Well, yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, it's tier 4, usually it's good. So you probably can't go wrong to play it. And even, even in a case it's actually bad, I don't think it's a real, like a real problem for you because your race overall is very good. You have, you are playing like a very late game race. So if you survive to like minute 30 or 40, I would say your waves should be pushing people out. Pretty easily, so yeah. Should be fine. No one went for the middle. Uh, you gotta be careful, yeah, my wave is gonna push because of that. <laughs> it's very weird, like, meta for people really changed. So, Richardic didn't... Okay, Richardic has two upgrades on mercenary. That's kind of weird. You have one mercenary upgrade, alright. Hmm... I'm thinking whether he is... Oh my god, dude, upgrade your barrack or like your spell, do something, yeah. Higher units. Dude, don't lose that barrack. Don't lose that barrack. Uh, what the... <sighs> Christ. I was reading my... Fuck. Your two tips. I definitely chose the wrong, um... I chose the Pepega. Foundation? Yeah, because it only affects mechanical units. Nah, it's okay. I mean... Tier 4 foundations usually are like uh, at least average. They never drop a tier like below average. Research complete. It's very unlucky because like no one upgraded on the middle but me. So I killed everyone there and I went then to your to your barrack. So, I just don't know, dude. It was such a fucked up situation. It's alright. Such a survival chaos. <laughs> well, if someone's gonna upgrade their middle, I think my unit's gonna get stuck, so you're gonna be fine. Uh, you can use that gold, probably, to push masonry and push upgrades and get a faster too. So, you can pressure lanes. Because like when you lose a barrack or you you lose a tower, you also get a lot of get a lot of gold, so you can transfer it towards something. Invest. Yep. I'm afraid to write it. Yeah, actually, yo, me and you have like uh, 1.2k gold above everyone, so... You can theoretically speaking upgrade the barrack to tier 4 and that's probably gonna destroy someone. It's kind of PM strat, but... <laughs> as a resolution to your situation, it can be used that way, yeah. Oh, we are taken, okay. Shit, all my heroes are melee. Yeah, hero, hero is not bad. If it's gonna go to the middle, you might actually farm it for some time. Easy win, tier 4 and easy win. No, tier 4 mid. No, I'm not gonna tier 4 mid. I think it's, it's gonna be super bad. <laughs> I don't know. No one even contested in the middle. Okay, no, uh, Rich did go for it finally. Yeah, that's a good thing. I still kind of, I still wanna try that strat. Let's make this game even a bigger meme than it is already. <laughs> uh, 
Alright. Hmm. Well, yeah, I might indeed aggro people to go after me. The Charico Ray has a tooth repair against me. PM. My Inferno is really clapping your hero. There is no effing way, man. Yeah, okay, that's Infernos are strong. Yeah, that's my base defense spell, but I decided to push with it for loose. Uh, it's like on every side right now. Respawn. Yeah. You can easily, yeah, you can easily, I feel like, kill either red or blue because they probably try to um, avenge you or something. They both tier 3 barracks on me. Let's get going. It's really, really aggressive. Fuck, I don't, I don't know, like, I, I don't have gold to upgrade against both of them. So poor. I wonder if they're gonna go as far as uh, upgrade their barracks to tier 4. If that's happening, then yeah, it's, it's totally over for me. I don't think it's really possible for a person to defend against two people. They go in tier 4 against you. Kill the streamer meme, yeah, I know, right? It's raw chaos, it was up my arms. Uh, what is my passive? You mean uh, foundation? My foundation is a source of magic, so I get like extra regeneration of mana, I get better caster upgrades. This is really insane. For warlocks to have a LU spell buffed by 100 damage. It is really really sick. Super strong. Oh my god, that is looking so scary. That is looking so epic and scary. Two tier 3 barracks coming from both sides. Lately I've been so passive against people that I usually have tier 1 barracks, even like at minute 30. And the person I'm against doesn't upgrade it either. But right now, yeah, it's complete opposite. I wasted so many, so much gold on buying units. Fuck, man. I actually need a hero. Am I better gonna get destroyed? Yeah. I, I, like, I really wanted the tier 4 barrack instead. It's a way wiser choice, but. I, I, I just can't do it.
Hey, please don't upgrade tier 4 against me. I know you're trying to wench Blade Master, but please, like, I can't handle it. This is already ob obnoxious pressure. Area damage on each attack. Liquid fire, pillage, burn arrows. Mm. This is a midi from the middle. Oh my god, yeah. The infernos that I use for defense are also pushing you now, right? <laughs> no. I, I, I shall live, hopefully. What is your mercenary right now? Is it uh, for upgrades already? Oh, dude. Yeah, I misclicked. What, what, what did you misclick? I... A hero? I pressed my... Um... My base defense too early by accident. I oh. didn't mean to click it. GG. Do they, do they have a tier two upgrades on on you? Oh, it's a tier three. I think they have tier three. Tier three is uh, with flying units. Do they have flying units against they you? Didn't, they didn't. They didn't tier two. Okay. Yeah, they kind of dropped the aggression against me right now, I know. They upgrade to tier 3 and that's it, no tier 4 yet. So I I can actually win the game, I guess. I, I mean, at least I'm not dead or something. At some point, I th it felt like they were just teaming too hard. It's okay, I'll, I'll stay in the game to grieve for Chardic. <laughs> as everyone should. Do you have like a personal uh, agenda against him? No, no, I'm just joking. Okay, okay. More gold is required. More gold hey, Dialon has tier 4 against me now. Oh. Yeah. I think it's gonna be Dialon's tier 4 and then Richardic scenarios. <laughs> oh my god, I dropped that. Yeah, mana, mana regeneration foundation is so good. I use my infernos twice, and I'm only missing 200 mana, so I regenerated 175 back already. Oh, double tier for barrack on me. Oh no, yeah, this is a disaster. They don't give me a single moment to like uh, to breathe. And yeah, I, I play by the standards that you have to match the barrack upgrade immediately. Like if, if your opponent has tier 2 or tier 3 or tier 4, you're gonna match it. Uh, relying on heroes is like a temporary solution and gonna cause you only to lose gold, so... The fact that, yeah, like, I don't know, I, I just can't afford it. It's a tier 4 plus a hero? They are literally trying to kill me. <laughs> They're trying to get me out of the game, minute 20. Oh my god. Yeah, Richard used his uh, defensive spell. Because you are pushing him, right? Right. From the right side. Probably are. Holy moly. More gold. I can't get even a single upgrade because, like, I have to upgrade barracks. It's a opinion on upgrading fucking barracks with the, the whole time. Uh, my FDN go to me. Okay, that's nice. Okay, 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 we are safe. I was too afraid it's gonna be my math and and uh, tier 4 barrack, but it's gonna be only tier 4 barrack. Okay, we are safe now. Can I afford going for mercenary though? No, dude. 
pretty sure I have to because like I, I don't think I'm gonna go tier 3 I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay tier 2 and just try to defend myself for the whole game Ah, oh, fuck but on the other hand I know yeah, okay, this wave is coming too fast. I would have to cancel this upgrade, most likely. Oh, this is a disaster. This game is a, literally a disaster. What can I upgrade, which is like a fast thing to, to get? Because like this... Let's get... I have so many good upgrades, but they are so expensive. Like, all of them are very expensive. And I know if I will need to use heroes against these pushes. Double tier for barrack on me, minute 20. I never was pressured like this before. But yeah, I mean, at least I'm proud of my community for like, uh, you know, punishing me, I guess, for killing someone's barrack, minute 3. <laughs> use your X spell. Oh dear, wins. I am going to, but... I really don't want to summon heroes. Ideally, I don't. Can I survive without it? Can I survive without summoning heroes? Just tell me I can. It's too expensive and too unnecessary and will cause only more aggression. Okay, okay, let's pray I will survive. I wanna launch upgrades instead, so... Alright, no, oh my god. This is awkward. This is awkward, too many siege units. This barracks start to take damage. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Dude. No! No, man! I hate using heroes so early. Like, I don't think I could defend other way. <sighs> Just wasted 2000 gold. Usually, would be invested in these two upgrades because they're so amazing, but. I mean, I got it, we can't do that, so. Okay, let's think about it. I think. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bunker up like crazy this game. I'm gonna, yeah, I feel like it's a masonry game. I'm pretty sure it's a masonry game and a tier 3 main as fast as possible. I don't know, I need like a gajillion amount of gold. I summoned already 3 heroes and I bought 20 units. 20 units is about, I feel like I bought like 5 or 6 mistresses, so it's 600. And 14 of these, so 700, so I wasted... In total I wasted then... Is it 4.3k gold? I wasted 4.3 thousands gold on heroes and units. Oh my god. My efficiency is just... <laughs> Who do so... you think is gonna win Zoom? Uh, not me. <laughs> not you. Yeah, because... Okay, like, listen, they have... Like... Well, each of them needed to upgrade only one barrack to tier 4 against me. Uh, pretty sure Richarlik summoned hero only once. The other one summoned hero once or twice, but probably only once. I didn't follow it that much. And all their gold besides from that... Like, uh, the less heroes you summon, the better it is basically for you. Really? Why? Uh, Waste the gold? Yeah, because like, you, you get like... Uh, you summon the hero for 1000 gold, and then yeah. you're like, okay, he's gonna farm me 1000 gold back. But that's like very rarely actually that happens. It's a very. Right, because you're gonna get the gold back anyway. Yeah, I mean, like, if you, out if you push back the wave, you will kill the same amount of units anyway. Yeah. Right, so, so it's just the gold sink that you could be spending on upgrades. Exactly, yeah. So I feel like it's a big waste of gold, except for the part where you send the hero on the middle. Because on the yeah, middle, it's right. a crossroad, and, but yeah, you have to master it, 
I have a feeling when your hero gets stuck in the middle and he farms like four waves and he doesn't over push. Like for example, Dead on Sand he's a uh, mid right? But he over pushed, so he farmed only I would say like 500 gold or something, like max. Right, right. Like you don't want to send with too big of a wave because then the hero just goes and suicides. Yeah, exactly. So ideally, you know, you just try to defend yourself with the good upgrades and with the like um, good upgrades on units and the barrack level. So you everything, like all your gold, basically dumped into the tech. And your army, because of that, is extremely powerful. Oh my god, I'm actually destroying his barrack. Yo, the other one's base is on fire, like... <laughs> what's going on? Okay. I'm trying to be as preserved with my gold as, as possible, because... Oh, scenarios. Oh no. Oh no. This is a disaster. Scenarius is coming to me. Also the other one summoned his super unit. I hope it's not gonna go to me. I really hope it's not gonna go to me. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, do I respond to Scenarius with my super unit as well? Oh! The right barrack! It's falling down! Hit it once, please! It's 28 HP! Nice! Okay, 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 we are back in the game. Back in the game, baby. Okay, I have more gold. Then I can play greedy and uh, do some upgrades. Okay, that's huge. It is so huge. Okay, scenarios, right? Uh, it's gonna be probably Xerath plus Infernals to respond from me. Or maybe just Xerath. No, just Xerath will lose. Scenarius is ranged hero. Fuck. I think he has, he has a very good range, right? No, 400. Actually, 400? Okay, okay, I'm gonna pull him in my base then. Yeah, I'm gonna pull Scenarius in my base and try to butcher him. Inside of it. Do you know how, by the way, uh, pulling works? That, like, a hero... Like, army led by a hero aggroes on whatever building attacks the hero. So, oh, really? Yes, so if your barrack is not attacking the hero, but your tower is, the whole army is going to follow the tower and gonna skip the that's barrack. Gonna... Yeah, that's like a little technique that probably I know only like 50% people know, I feel like, in community. And yeah, because Sonarius has like a mid-tier range, which is 400, yeah, I'm thinking about pulling him inside of my base. And trying to like uh, use all my towers against him. Like, I, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna summon two heroes. This looks so scary. Scenarius is one of the best heroes in my opinion. It's just okay. Okay, I'm gonna aggro him. My buildings. Let's go soft might. Uh, Three hundred man. Please don't use it against me, Rich, though. <laughs> okay. Somewhat AI went for Pega. So... So far... Okay, I already aggro him on my main. He's gonna be hitting my main for a while. My main is pretty tanky, so it should be fine. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go triple hero push against Richardic. I think... I, I, I will try to kill him before he lays eggs and becomes too strong. Triple kill. Uh, yeah, so Gromash has like a lifesteal aura or like some sort of like other buffs. There is, there is usually one support hero for a super unit basically. And you want like send super unit plus that. And it's a very strong, strong combo. Got some passives as well. Alright. Xerox is getting uh, full experience because he's alone. That's amazing. While wow, my two heroes are killing the scenarios. 
He's attacking my building though. Can you not? Motherfucker, you took so much HP from me. He, he entangled my entire army, so nothing was really hitting him. And that's why the barrack was the first target. I still have three upgrades on armor. <laughs> like, I couldn't, I didn't have time the whole game to get uh, good upgrades on armor. That's so bad. Okay, let's think about it. Oh. Ujia don't, he's still alive. Time soon, because yeah, if, if he gonna die, then I have to upgrade my middle barrack ASAP. But if he is like still alive for some time, then I can grid it out. Uh, my foundation amplifies casters a lot, so my casters right now are just hitting like a truck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so good. Richardic is uh, is cracking, yeah. Like his base is literally on fire right now. I think they start fighting with the other on mid game too much. I have a very good chance right now. Okay, the other one has been defeated. Oh fuck yeah, that means I need to upgrade back. Okay, it's here. Okay, it's a 34 elevator, Scenarius, Xerex, Gromash, Hellscream, and Gore in one base, and also Medivh. Alright, GG. <laughs> Clown Fiesta, yeah. Just one of this game for Zoom. Well, yeah, like, I'm not gonna deny if they, like, w I, I took your barrack on middle blade and then, like, they followed immediately with aggression, double tier 3 barrack, and it was so strong, like, dude, I know. I literally barely defended. If they would push tier 4 barracks on me, and I would be, like, against two people rushing it so fast, I would be dead for sure. I just don't know. So I feel like they took kind of like uh, their chances and pity on me to like punish me but not punish me enough. And somewhat then they started killing each other too hard. Have you won Zoom? Uh, Is looks that what like, I'm looking at? Yes. It looks like I'm gonna win soon. Because the only player is Richardic and he has only one barrack left. <laughs> so... And Diadon is still helping me against scenarios. He's putting floor all the way. Hate actors, right? Yeah, I know, right? All of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's literally like, yeah, I wrote you a script to follow. You guys act like this. I sacrifice me the barrack, then say, oh no, I sacrifice the barrack to you. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's literally like scripted. The whole game. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of pissed because like I usually I'm, I'm never being forced to use heroes so early and I hate using heroes but uh, this time like yeah I was forced to go full on defense like I don't know, just save up gold all the time just for the barracks no upgrades on units just like barrack upgrades like I don't, I don't know okay, so I feel like the point is that they both started to want to pillage your base, so they saw like you as a, you know, just like a dying a treasure, you know, and they wanted a piece of you. And then, like when we were gone, the guy who who is like dominating that side wins uh, four neutral buildings, so it's literally like a big dominance there. And Richardic started to push Diadon, Diadon started to push Richardic, they killed each other and I won. <laughs> it's like the whole game. Okay, that was GG. Uh, yeah, GG.